In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the armature bearing on a DeWalt grinder. The armature in your grinder spins at very high RPMs, and after years of use, the armature bearings are going to wear out. Replacing them is easy to do, and we're going to show you how. Armature bearings, as well as many other parts, can be found on our website. Let's get started. We'll begin by removing the side handle and the guard. This will just make disassembly easier when we go to separate the geared case from the housing. Next, I'll separate the two halves of the rear housing. Next, I need to pull the brushes away from the armature. To do that, I'll pull the brush wires away from the holders, pull this tension spring out of the way, and then pull the brush arm back. And I'll repeat this on the other side. Now I need to remove the separator fan from the rear of the armature. It just simply screws on, but it is a reverse thread. And to remove it, I'll need to lock the motor from spinning. To do that, I'll just use the spindle lock up on the gear assembly. And now I can remove the fan. Next, I'll separate the gear case assembly from the motor housing. It's secured with four screws. With the armature removed, now we can see the rear bearing cup. It's a rubber piece and it just pulls away from the bearing. Now I want to separate the armature from the gear case assembly. At this point, they're just connected by a bearing that's pressed into the gear case. So I'll just pull the two apart. Now I'll remove the rear armature bearing. There's a fairly tight clearance between the bearing and this plastic cap just behind the commutator. I found in this type of situation, the straight leg bearing pullers work really well to remove the bearing. I place the puller on the bearing, I'll go ahead and lock it in place with the screws, and now I'm ready to pull the bearing. And now I can replace the rear armature bearing. I'll slide it over the shaft and use a socket to tap it in place with a mallet. And now I'll just install the bearing cup. Now we can reassemble. I'll start by inserting the front end of the armature into the gear case assembly. I need to make sure I line up these tabs on the bearing plate with the slots in the gear case. And now I'll just slide the armature and gear case assembly back into the motor housing. And I'll secure the gear case housing to the motor housing with the screws. Now I can reinstall the separator fan. Remember, it's a reverse thread. And again, I'll lock the motor from spinning using the spindle lock. Now I'll reposition the brushes back onto the armature. Reattach the brush wire. And repeat this on the other side. Now we'll replace our rear housings to the motor housing. And then I'll take a moment and make sure all the wires are tucked out of the way so nothing gets pinched when we put the other half on. Now I'll replace the lock button. This tab on the button needs to face towards the armature, followed by the paddle switch. And then the other half of the housing. As I do this, I want to make sure that the posts 
on the switch and on the lock button all line up properly with the housing. Once I get it in place, I'll just test everything real quick to make sure it's right. And that looks good. So now I can re-secure the screws. And now I'll reinstall the guard and the side handle.